All right, everybody. We are going to drop in on some Delta V. We're going to do some crazy stuff tonight. Um, honestly, we're going to do an insane drop in. So let's go ahead and get right on into it. Uh, obviously, this, well, not obviously, this game is free right now. Uh, the developer basically wanted to support the war in Ukraine and. What he did was basically make the demo all access with no time limitations or anything like that. So just download the demo and you can play the full game. Um, as long as the war in Ukraine's going on, he stated that he's going to keep it that way. Um, I went ahead and bought it, which is why I have these goofy little uh, animal faces here. And uh, it also gives you uh, the 4K texture pack, which looks a little cleaner. So... Anyways, we just double check, make sure everything's in working order, which it is. And we're going to launch a ring dive. And uh, let's just let's just get crazy with it. Let's see. Hmm. 2,700 kilometer drop. I'm down. Let's do it. Right there. Launch it. Ugh. We are running the Type E, I think it's called. It's the super fancy onboard computer. And then the, what's well, the autopilot? And then we're also running the super fancy HUD, which does kind of throw a lot of stuff, but you get used to it. All right, so we're 2,700 kilometers deep, as you can see on the readout right there. And let's see. Let's just find ourselves something and start mining. So we've got a companion drone, and we've also got tug drones. And that'll make things a little easier and a little quicker. I'm just looking for a good cluster here. And the ship will basically drive itself because of the AI, the the systems that we're using. The autopilot is pretty snazzy. Whoops, bumped the mic on that. All right, this looks like a good spot here. So let's just go ahead and lock the brakes down. We're going to smash all this up. The mineral readout shows it's pretty heavy on beryllium and V. Not a lot of W, it doesn't look like. I don't even know what mineral the W is. For the life of me, I can't figure it out. All right. Let's see if we can't get a good amount of stuff out of this. So... It's going to look like chaos for a minute or two here. I just like to pop all the rocks in my area. Get a good look at what's out. Pop that big rock there. All right, so honestly, not too, not too happy with those, with this haul at this location. I mean, we only got the one item here, and this is why I didn't de deploy my drone or anything. My tug drones automatically deploy, so they come out and 
do their thing, but um, my companion drone wants you to play him. Uh, I just I just let him go. You can recall him if you want to, but eh, for me, usually I just kind of wait until I get a, li a good little area, and then I'll release him. Um, we're also going to grab this over here. It's worth 11. It does... There's a lot of clutter on the screen, so, you know, for future tutorials and stuff like that, if you guys are interested, I'll do it with the simple HUD on, the HUD you start out with. <clears throat> but this computer will automatically scoop the minerals and everything. Uh, I just got to target it, so... We got one more 10k nugget right here. We're gonna go ahead and scoop that up. Let's zoom in so you can see it. All right, we got it. Ah, so we're just gonna drift on out of this area. Not too happy with what that little cluster had, so no point in wasting more time there. And we're just gonna let our ship do our things. It will navigate itself around these obstacles. Uh, you will hear the ship alarm. I have not uh, upgraded my reactor and stuff correctly. So my RPMs and stuff will drop too low at times on my generator. So... Oh, and now we're going into slow time. It's like reaction time. Um, I've got an autopilot on, and I trust it pretty heavily. So it's going to avoid this collision for me. But, well, actually, it did not avoid it. So we took that hit. I don't know what's up with the ship. It's probably because I still have my drone on, so it makes the ship a little bit... Uh, well, it makes its Delta V uh much lower and the lower your delta v number the worse the handling of the ship yeah the ship ship really isn't isn't keen on flying with it on clearly jeez man yeah we got a thruster that got hit pretty hard right there all right we'll just slow the speed down a little bit There we go. The ship should be able to handle that on autopilot. And really, some of the best parts about this game is how laid back it is. Uh, in the beginning, it'll seem frantic because it can be quite a pain to capture and grab the ore. Um, but there's some tips and tricks to it. Like, you know, one of the best tips I can give you is <coughs> you, the more, uh, mass and velocity and stuff you add to an object, the higher the chance of it really going flying. So yeah, it sounds like common sense, but, uh, you got to switch to other types of mining equipment. Like even a laser for the most part is better than the mass driver. So you don't want to really use the mass driver for mining, except for in the beginning, uh, because that's what you got. Um, the first thing you really want to get, uh, your very first upgrade, is you want to get the cargo hold with baffles. That will make your life oh so much easier. Um, because every time you open your cargo bay door, you run the risk of things drifting forward and right out into space. Um, but when you put the baffles in, it helps keep things in your cargo bay. So let's see what these are. Yeah, let's, let's give it, let's give it a shot. Let's see what, see what we got. There's a beryllium chunk worth a good little bit there.
<clears throat> nice. We got a 22k chunk over there. Very nice. So, first things first. Let's go secure that. We got a good little bit of cash sitting around. We got a 13, a 12. Uh, looks like we got a 10 down here next to the 22. Another 13 and another 10. And a 10 there. So, we easily got 150k just sitting here. So, that's good. That's real good. After we clean up here, we'll go deploy our little guy. Oh, no, we want you first. So we're going to drift on in. on around oh, I didn't see the 10k sitting over there so we'll definitely drop the robot on this next one you can see it uh, its name is Firepaul which is funny because uh, I think the name of the ship is Burning Faith or something game was being a little bit weird it thought i was clicking on the ship all right so let's just get the ship moving again that's my rpm warning it's it's all because of my generator uh i wanted a generator to be able to power the uh, mining tool that I'm using. I think it's the pulse laser or something like that. Problem is, is it can have a heavy draw. So when I'm using it, there isn't any issues. Uh, or when I'm actively flying, because I've got enough of a capacitor to deal with the power fluctuation differences, but it doesn't kick in quick enough at times. So you'll hear the RPM drop and stuff like that. Look, I I'm just guessing on some of this stuff, guys. There's not a whole lot of uh, informative videos out there, which is why, you know, if you guys wanted me to, we can do a series on this. She's not going to be able to handle it. Enter one. We detached our little drone. So he should activate. Boom. We want to prospect the area. Anything valuable. Let's check his numbers. So he's going to pick up anything that's worth 10k. Our drones, same. Uh, they'll stop objects that are 10k or more. And it looks like we're going to see what we got. Looks like this might be a pretty good little area.
Ah, nice. We got a 19k nugget up there. Fire Paul's gonna go grab that. I like to pop everything up first. It just makes scooping up the valuable stuff a little bit easier. You don't have to worry about running into asteroids in a large area. We're going to go ahead and grab up that. Let our drone do a little bit of work. The drone will bust open rocks and stuff too. Um... The problem with the drone is, is it runs out of fuel. So that's why I like to start busting stuff up uh, for it. So that way, you know, I know like the first three or four things that it picks up. Uh, it really, all it had to do was just drive straight to it. It didn't have to bust open a rock and then realize that there wasn't anything valuable in there. Because I have it set up not to pick up iron. got another 10k nugget there it's a good bit of w that's the thing like w uh beryllium and w are the two that i get the most of generally Oh, there's a 15k nugget down there. Twenty-seven K, look at that. Right there. Alright, we got somebody else in the area. Twenty-seven K nugget, that's always nice to see. You love to see it. 27k nugget G's, you know. I don't know, for some reason it's having a hard time locking on to it. Oh, Firepaw wants it. That's probably why. All right, well, you have that. We're, we'll go grab this. Uh, let's just hope he gets it. There you go. He got it. Good work, Fire Paul. Good work. Look, buddy, I got this one. I'll keep popping up rocks for you, though. I mean, we got... We only got like 1.3 in the hold right now 
530k. It. Here we go. We're coming up on some nice rocks. Let's see what we got. Got a nugget worth 11k there. All right. I'm not seeing a whole lot of high value here, but we'll finish popping the rocks anyways. We got an 11k nugget down there just it's not as much as i wanted out of it oh 15k nugget there let's grab that definitely worth it circle back around on that 11 we'll go ahead and finish up this cluster and fire paul's up this way somewhere so hopefully he's making wise decisions We got a 25k nugget down here. Very nice. Love to see it. 25k nugget, man. That's nice. Scoop that up. We got a lot of value here, so all these are overlaying on top of each other. Grab that 10k nugget as well. And then pop the rest of these rocks. I mean, so far... Oh, we got somebody coming in down this way. Hmm. Not a fan of that. Alright, so we're sitting at... Alright, so... Drone is done. He is heading back to the station. Thank you, Firepaw. It's just us now. Finish popping up these rocks. Make sure there isn't another juicy nugget hiding in these ringroids here. A good goal, honestly, uh, on this ship, you can squeeze in uh, half a mil. Uh, as long as you're not getting uh, some trash asteroids with a lot of other debris. We got a 12k nugget there. That's looking good. Got a 17k nugget. Looking real good. Alright, so let's park it up for a second. We got our crew talking to us. What was that thing? Did you see that flash on the Viz feed? I didn't, unfortunately. So, I don't know what you're referring to. We'll pick up this 12k nugget here. Oh, we got a big juicy one down there. 18k and the 17k. Very good. Very good. Oh, man. That, 
that is what we want to see oh we got another what is that a 13k nugget gorgeous we're gonna go ahead and clean up all these rocks this seems to be a, a pretty nice little area Sometimes this autopilot gets a little weird. It's also trying to account for the cargo in the hold, too. So, at least it's doing its job. Alright, we're at 225k. Almost halfway to where we want to be. Go ahead and just pop these rocks since we're near them. Grab that, we'll come back, grab that, and then there's another 13k rock there as well, so. Oh, an 11k beryllium. I like to see that. Go ahead and pop up all of these. Grab that. Because we want to grab both of these technically. And then that one over there. Go ahead and pop those up, get them out the way. All right, we got another 13K there. Got that, let's grab that one. All right, now we got to settle down and get some more of these rocks taken care of. Go pop some more ringroids over here. We're going to go to the left on screen, which is coming out of the rings. Keep popping them up. See what we get. We got a 10k rock right there. That's good. That's PD. We don't normally get values on PD that high. That's nice. Sixteen K rock there with a bunch of W. Oh, we got a 17k rock here that's beautiful oh love to see it oh my gosh yes all right we've popped up some rocks let's go grab this 17k we'll circle around grab this 13 grab the oh my gosh a 28 rock we are gonna grab that immediately that's how you attract the wrong type of people by leaving your high value rocks just laying around because they might think you won't notice and they'll try to scoop it up.
Yeah, we got a lot of value sitting around in the space. So. Come on, autopilot. What you doing? Might as well just grab this 16 and this 15 and work our way back down. We got a 19 down there. Oh my gosh, guys. A 10 and 11. All right, got that. Let's grab this 15. Yeah, so we're at right around 320K. Uh, we've got 70 uh, meters cubed left in our cargo hold and surprisingly we've done pretty well this run because uh the largest portion of our cargo hold is actually 21 meters cubed of w um it's a real hard battle to keep your h2o down uh in these early cargo holds because you don't have any way to get rid of it or process it out for fuel so, it ends up taking up a large portion of your cargo hold by default. I gotta get back over to where our money is. We'll grab this 19k rock and then we'll go and start scooping up all of the lower value rocks we got a couple 13s and it looks like a couple 10s floating out there still so grab those bad boys up and uh maybe uh one more good push like this and then we'll be full be ready to head on back very successful run and i'll be excited to see what firepaw brought in i haven't seen firepaw get over 60 or 70k uh wow there's some there's a 14k rock right there i have to pick that up do a u-turn after we scoop that and that's almost a hundred percent beryllium which is just it's great i mean because it's only 700 kilograms uh of beryllium and only four kilograms of water, so hardly any wasted uh, mineral there. Oh, uh, see, so we do got another person over here. Probably scoping out to see what we got laying around. Grab that. We're going to boogie on up this way. Up up north even though we're in space so there isn't really a north we'll move to uh the top of the screen yeah see the problem like this one this 12k rock here uh, uh it's mostly water it's over half water Scoop that up, and now we are back on our way. Get up in this direction and see if we can't get some more uh, high dollar rocks.
Okay, we are getting engaged. And I don't want to be engaged right now. You can tell because of the red rings around the screen. So somebody around me isn't happy. That's a very uh, pricey beryllium rock that just shot off over there. Let's go snag that guy. That is the only thing we ended up getting out of that little cluster there anyways, so. So when we get done scooping this rock, we're going to dip uh, up and to our left again. Uh, and we're going to wait until we get right in the center of a bunch of asteroids and clean up. Because we don't have much cargo hold left. We really only need a couple good finds. Wow, that's 15k right there for that chunk. We'll grab that too. I know we got a 10k chunk right there, but uh, that's a lot bigger for what it is. I'd rather find beryllium. That's It takes up so little space. Like, if you had a cargo hold full of beryllium, you'd be a millionaire. My Delta V number is getting pretty low, so we really only got one more good push, and then we're going to be heading back. I just I always try to shoot for half a mil. That's usually my mark. garbage honestly we're just busting these to get them out of our way alright let's keep it moving we want to be in the middle of some asteroids. I mean, I mean some ringroids. My bad. So that way, uh, we don't have to move a lot. And we're still uh, right around 2,700 kilometers deep.
Yeah, there's no power draw or power demand right now, so... The generator's RPMs are next to nothing. We got some coming up, but not not enough. We might just drift drift into this uh, field just a little bit before we park up. Yeah, these are all looking kind of tiny. <laughs> See what the comp scanner says. W. Okay, we got a large amount of iron in these rocks. Ooh, a lot of iron. But yeah, we're gonna keep it drifting. Water and iron looks to be the biggest ingredients here. Neither one of those do we want. Right at 420k in the hold, so we only need a few, few more good rocks. I have a feeling this next cluster might be pretty good. Impact. We like these. The iron content's low. The W content's high. So we'll have some good rocks here. Oh, yeah. Off the bat, 15K beryllium rock. Once again, I don't even know if they're talking about the element beryllium. It just BE, so... It Feels right, but it's probably wrong. Oh, we got a 17k rock over there. Yeah, we're not doing good. If you look here, we got a thruster that's completely, uh, <laughs> yeah. from those two impacts that we took on the same Dagon side. Definitely makes the ship not handle correctly on autopilot. Scoop up that 17k rock and then there's a 10k rock above that. And then whatever the next couple rocks are, and that's it. Drop in over there. See what these next couple are. Uh, 
Uh, there's a W rock worth a good bit there. 18k on it. 14k on another one there. clean up what's here in the area and then we are heading back home 18 we got a 21k rock there got a 15k rock there Eleven and eleven. Yeah. Did well. Did well. We are over the half mil mark. We're going to be close to probably five fifty when we get done here. Target these guys next. Autopilot didn't do so well. Completely missed it right there. Alright, so we're going to boost this direction. There's one of them. I think the other one's up this way. Yeah. Yeah, that one's just going to keep drifting that way. I don't think the drones will be able to grab it. It's a little too far away, I think. Oops. Dropped that. And then we'll dip off this way after that one. And there we go. I'm interested to see how much damage we caused, though, because, uh, you know, as long as I didn't cause more than... Uh, I mean, I'll take 100k in repairs, honestly, but I doubt it'll be that much. As long as I didn't do more than, like, 50k, I think I'm fine. So we're drifting this way. We know the autopilot's a little shady right now because of our weight and our damage. So we're just going to pop these rocks in front of us so that way we don't have to worry about them. We're still drifting the direction we want to go. We'll grab you up. Back on track. And this will put us over our 550 mark. Oh. We'll grab that one too. It's worth 10k. Why not? We're here. There we go. We got everything we need. We'll pull up our astrogator. Enceladus Prime. Plot the course. Let the ship do its thing. Ma 
matching up velocities. There we go. We're boosting back. Let's see how we did. Awesome. Wow. Okay, so Firepaw brought in 109k by himself. I brought in 552k. So all together, 662k. Great haul. We're going to go ahead and just sell it all. And let's go check our repairs. Let's see. Just repairing everything up. It's what we got the mechanics for. So that way they can get some experience. Alright, we're good to go. I mean, it did, it did cost us a little bit. Looks like uh, maybe 150k. I had to look at the numbers before and after, but yeah. Uh, the other thing we always do is we go check and see is there any new crazy ships for sale for a good price. I don't see anything. But anyways, that was a crazy dive. And uh, we will see you guys on the next one.